Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Steve here from Life, Liberty, and Adventures. And today's video is gonna be about installing a sunshade in my Jeep Wrangler. I purchased a Alien Shade sunshade off of Amazon, and I'll show you the unboxing of that, and we're gonna get right into it. So this is an Alien sunshade that I picked up off of Amazon for my Wrangler, and I got the front and back version since I have a four-door Wrangler and also picked the gray color. So let's see what we got in the box. So we got uh, a bunch of bungee cords, different lengths. So there's two different packages of bungee cords. They have a, uh, a list of what's included in each bag on the front. So And you can see they got some nice paraphernalia in here, some instructions. And some more windshield pack windshield pack with some installation tools. Not really sure how to use that stuff yet, but I'm sure the instructions have it in there. And then this is one of the sunshades. I'm assuming this is the front since it's got JLF, F for front, and also the JLU4B. I'm assuming this is for the rear. Nicely packaged. Little decal. Hmm. Little Gumby Alien. This looks like Easter egg confetti. Anyway, we'll get to install here in a few minutes. So these instructions are for the rear. You can see the rear section is highlighted on this one, so we'll put that one aside for now. I'm gonna be doing the front installation. This is the instructions for the front, because you can see that's highlighted there as well. This is the back one, the rear. This is the front. Go ahead and start the package. Let's see what we got here. All right, I'm gonna go and take this up and kind of lay it out inside the Jeep. Even though it doesn't state in the instructions to remove the freedom panels in the front of your Jeep, I'm gonna remove them anyway since it's gonna give me some uh, flexibility in how I route the, the bungee cords and it's gonna just open things up in there for me to install this. So it takes just a few seconds for each side, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. Looks like the front side is the side that is straight the side that goes towards the rear of the Jeep has two angle cuts on it. They have a nice label on the shade as well. You get the bungees. Let's get these guys out of here. We're going to need them. Front windshield area. This is an installation tool. We have four of these front bungees. They call them T T bar bungees. Four of them. This is an insulation tool. Okay, so for the first two T-bar bungees, you want to do it, you want to thread the bungee up through, I'm trying to do this one-handed isn't easy, thread it up through the hole. Just for reference, the label goes up, so it's going to be at the roof of the vehicle. First 
facing up towards the sky. So, like I said, thread this up through the, the hole. And you can actually pull this through to make it a T-bar. So it doesn't go through. And then you take your installation tool, run it up through there. You want to make a loop around it. And then if you see, up, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a, a bolt right behind the inner hinge for the, the uh, sunshade. And you want this first bungee cord to be to the left of that. We're going to go over here. So for this thing, we're going to put them together and feed them down through the front. And we're going to pull that through like so. And undo that. Maybe that's a little bit easier to see things now. Undo that. Take your tool out. And then take your T-bar. Get that thing. It's a good bit of tension on there. Okay. There we go. You can put that back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. Thread that through there installation tool stay to the right of that get this out of the way pull that around bar okay all right there's the first two all right we'll go to the other side Super tight. Not a bad thing, but man. Okay. okay, so what we're gonna do next is attach the two on the side that are shown here with number one. There's two on each side. And then you're gonna use the medium size which we look at the package, there's four eight and a half inch bungees, and that's what they describe as the medium. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna uh, feed the bungee up through the hole and with the ball, you can see the balls in the bottom. The ball will actually be on the, on the underside or on the inside of the Jeep. So go ahead and start doing that. So 
here with four eight and a half inches. Put those aside. I'm gonna feed that up through. Okay, so then for the two corners, you're going to use the two long ones, and those I believe are the 10 inchers. Those are actually going to go in there. Probably use that installation tool again. All right, it's starting to look like something here. I just have the two rear ones to do yet. Use this installation tool. one here. This is super tight. All right. Well, folks, that is in. It is really tight. Those bungees are really tight up in there, but I thought it fit nice and looks pretty good. Should keep most of the sun off of our heads. Let's start working on the back one. Okay, so let's get the rear one out of the package. I'm impressed. These look very nice and uh, like decent quality. It's hard to tell if they've never had any other ones, but. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. 
So on the rear one, let's get the instructions here. On the rear one, you're going to start with the front two that go around the sound bar. And those are going to be the super extra long bungee cords. There's two of them, one, two. And then you do the two around the, the back. But first, let's start on the front two around the sound bar. So we got to figure out which ones in here are the super extra long. Hmm. Not those. Two of them. Okay, here they are. These are super extra long. All right, so we're inside the Jeep. And here's a label again. Got a little bit of shape to this one. So, from the looks of it, it appears that the label goes towards the front of the vehicle facing up or facing the sky. I'll double check here in a second. So, this is a picture of one installed on a Jeep from the instructions, and you can see the label is facing up and it's towards the front of the vehicle because there's a spare tire and here's the sound bar so all right let's get to it so feed the bungee up through the bottom i'm going to do the other one while i'm here as well and then we go up around the you know what, I'm going to use that installation tool. So that worked out pretty slick, actually. Just be careful if you happen to misjudge these straps and uh, it comes flying back. And keep your face out of the line of fire because uh, it could hurt if these things are coming smack back at you. So just a heads up there. Okay, now for the two in the center in the back, you're going to use the next longest one which they call the extra long there's four of them again you're feeding feeding the cord up through the bottom through the hole this one's pretty easy you're just going around the sound bar or the excuse me just the roll bar and keeping your face out of the line of fire here And the next ones to install are the ones on the side of the roll bar. Two on each side, there's four the next longest ones. The very short ones, you only have two of them, the very short ones go in the center. So the next longest ones are here in each corner. 
up and around the roll bar. And since I'm here, I'm just going to do the, the last one, the shortest one here. I'm going to hop over to the other side. Okay. The last ones. Install was pretty straightforward and fairly easy. Some of the bungees were really tight, but hey, it is what it is. We'll see how this holds up over time. Some of these look pretty stretched, but as long as the material holds up, it should last a while. So I did this all with the rear section of the roof on, and I just took off the front freedom panels. And I did not even have to put the windshield down with that handy dandy installation tool that they provided. So that worked pretty well. I'm sure if you uh, had the roof freedom panels and the windshield down, it would might go a little bit easier, but it wasn't a problem at all. Well, folks, there you have it. The installation took me roughly about 45 minutes. Probably could have shortened that up if I wasn't filming video, but... Uh, it went super quick and uh, the instructions were pretty clear. I liked it, I didn't have any issues with it, except some of the bungees being a little tight, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, I'm super happy with it and we'll see how it holds up. So thanks for watching and stay tuned and join us on the next adventure. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, see ya.